Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Monday. We're at CVS and let me tell you the CVS deals this week are so on fire. I am so excited to share this haul with you guys. I actually already went in and did my couponing deals for the week. I'm filming this after the fact. I did two days of CVS couponing this week. I started yesterday when I went out of town to go to Walgreens to do my haul there. I stopped at the CVS over there and did a transaction that was a money maker. And then today I went in and finished it up and grabbed even more deals. And it's kind of a big haul compared to the more recent CVS hauls that I've done. Um, so I'm really excited. I have so many good deals to share with you guys. And this haul is not gonna be free by any means, but I think it's gonna be really cheap considering how much we got. So I'm excited. I did not have a 10 off 70 to work with this week. I've seen so many couponers using those lately and I just don't have any. The only email coupons that I got were percent off coupons for both accounts, mine and my husband's. Um, and I've heard some people saying that if you actually use those percent off email coupons, then it will like trigger a 10 off 70 to be emailed to you. I don't know. I went on Saturday and used, um, I got a 40% off on one of my accounts. So I used it on Saturday and I did not get a 10 off 70. If you have any information on this, let me know. Does the 40% off email coupon work to trigger the 10 off 70 or does it need to be like the 20% off? I don't know so I just didn't have anything like that to work with this week but we still got some really good deals so let's get in here to CVS and get some deals all right we're gonna kick this week off with a moneymaker on cover girl they're on promotion this week for buy any three earn back a ten dollar extra buck now I logged into my CVS account on Saturday and extended my CRTs that I had last week and I'm so glad that I did because this is gonna be such a big moneymaker so I had a $5 instant coupon from last week that everybody had last week, and I extended it into this week. I also have two separate CoverGirl CRTs, one from last week, one from this week, and we have $3 digital manufacturer coupons, one for the eye and one for the face. So I'm going to grab two of the brow pencils for $5.29 each. These do apply to the $3 CoverGirl eye digital. And then I'm gonna grab one of the blushes down here for $7.79. This one attaches to the CoverGirl Face Digital. So my total for all three products is $18.37. I have the $5 instant coupon from last week, two $2 CoverGirl CRTs, and then two $3 manufacturer digital coupons. That's gonna bring it down to $3.37, but we're gonna earn back a $10 extra buck, making these not only free, but a $6.63 moneymaker. I am so pumped for this deal on the Gillette and Venus shave gels. So they're $4.99, buy one, get one half off, and when you buy two, you're gonna get back a $6 extra buck. So you're gonna pick up two for $7.48. If you don't have any CRTs, you're not gonna have any coupons. You're just gonna pay the $7.48 and get the $6 back, making them 74 cents each. But I have a two off of six Venus shaving product CRT. So I'm gonna pay $5.48 and get the $6 back. Makes these a 52 cent money maker. Next up, we're going for the Skin to Mint Disposable Razors. You can get these or you can get the regular Schick Disposables over on the men's side. Either one works. They're on sale two for 14. Buy two, get back a $4 extra buck. We have a five off two manufacturer digital coupon and I have a four off 12 Skin to Mint CRT. So I'm gonna pay just five bucks, get $4 back, making these 50 cents each. Next up, we have the Garnier Fructis Shampoo and Conditioner. The store is not tagged, but they're on sale two for $8, and then buy two, get back a $3 extra buck. We have a three off two manufacturer digital coupon that you wanna clip in the CVS app. If that's the only coupons you have, you're gonna pay $5 and get the $3 extra buck back, making them a dollar each. I have a $2 off any hair care CRT, so I'm gonna pay three, get a $3 extra buck back, makes these free. Now I'm looking at the Revlon deal because these are buy two, get back a $5 extra buck this week. I have a $4 off Revlon Instant Coupon, a $3 off Revlon CRT, and a two off 10 Revlon CRT. So I'm gonna grab two Kiss Bombs. They're $6.59 each, so that's $13.18. Minus all of those coupons, I'm gonna pay just $4.18 but get back that $5 extra buck, making these free and an 82 cent moneymaker. We got an okay deal on Crest toothpaste this week. It's not free or anything, but it is a good deal, especially if you're a newbie. So these are on sale for $3.99 this week. There's a few different varieties included. They're also buy two, get back a $5 extra buck. We got a two off one digital coupon that you can clip in your CVS app. So after that, you'll pay just $5.98, but earn the $5 extra buck back, making these 49 cents each. 
So this is everything I picked up at this store on Sunday and I'll show you the receipt for this at the end of the video. But for now, let's skip to today when I went to my normal store and got even more stuff. I was so excited when I got to my normal store today and saw that they had the products that I need in stock. So we are grabbing some laundry. They have select products on promotion for spend 25, earn back an $8 extra buck. I'm gonna grab this Tide Pods right here for $13.49. I have a three off one digital coupon for this in the CVS app. And then you guys, oh my gosh, they had the downy beads and they have my favorite scent in the world. Like I swear to you, nothing makes me happier than this smell right here. The white lavender light downy beads is my favorite thing in the entire world. Um, so they're $13.49. I have a two off one digital coupon in the CVS app and a $4 I bought a rebate. So the both of these products is... $26.98 before coupons. I have the three off Tide digital and the two off Downy, so we'll pay $21.98, get back an $8 extra buck and $4 on Ibotta, making the both of these just $9.98 or $4.99 each. Are you kidding me? Next, I'm going for some sun care because I have a CRT and we have a couple coupons to use. So the Banana Boat and Hawaiian Tropic are spend 20, earn back a $10 extra buck. For some reason, my CRT is not attaching to any Banana Boat even though it's supposed to be for Banana Boat or Hawaiian Tropic. I don't know. So I'm just going to grab this Hawaiian Tropic right here for $13.99. And then one of the Banana Boat Moisturizing After Sun Lotion for $8.79 just because it's cheap and you can always use some of this, especially in the summer. So both of these is going to total us $22.78. I have a two-off-one Hawaiian Tropic Manufacturer Digital, a two-off-one Banana Boat Manufacturer Digital, and a $3 off CRT. So that's gonna bring it down to $15.78. We'll earn the $10 extra buck back, making both just $5.78. I have two separate $3 Maybelline CRTs right now, so I'm just gonna pick up a Baby Lips for $4.79. Those CRTs are just gonna lower down to $4.79 and make this completely free. All right, I have some pretty decent CRTs for this stuff, so I'm gonna work up a deal on it. So starting off with the Axe Body Wash, they're $6.49, buy one, get one half off, and buy two, get back a $2 extra buck. We have a four off two digital coupon for these in the CVS app. So if you were just doing this deal by itself, it would be $9.73 for the both of them minus the four off two digital coupon. You'd pay $5.73 but earn a $2 extra buck back, making both just $3.73. Now I have a four off 15 body wash or hand soap CRT. So I'm gonna add two of these soft soap hand soaps to the deal. They're $2.79 each. And I also have two separate dollar off soft soap CRTs. So let's do the math for this all together. My total for all four of these products is $15.31. So my four off 15 can come off. Then I have the two $1 soft soap CRTs and the four off two Axe Digital. That is gonna drop my total down to $5.31, but I'm gonna earn back a $2 extra buck for buying two of the Axe, making all four products just $3.31 or 83 cents a piece. I have a couple different dollar off CRTs for these jumbo cotton balls right here, and they're only priced at $2.99, so minus those $2 off CRTs, it'll make it just $0.99. Cents. All right, moving on to the cereal deal. This is such a good deal this week. So the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and other General Mills cereals are on sale for $1.99, but the Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the best deal by far. So you want to grab two of them. That's going to total you $3.98. We have a dollar off two digital coupon in the CVS app, so you'll pay $2.98. But then you're going to submit to Ibotta for $2 back when you buy two Cinnamon Toast Crunch and also submit over to Fetch Rewards for $0.90 cents back on two, making it $0.08 cents for both boxes. And if that Ibotta rebate is expired on the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you could still do the Lucky Charms. It's still a good deal. We have $0.75 cents back on each one on Ibotta and then the $0.90 cents back on two on Fetch. So the Lucky Charms would come out to $0.58 cents for both. Okay, I'm switching over to my husband's account just to repeat a couple of deals. I want to do the shave gel deal again. The men's Gillette are also included for $4.99. Buy one, get one half off. So we're going to pay $7.48. I don't have any CRTs on this account. Then we'll get the $6 extra buck back, making them $0.74 cents each. Then I'm grabbing the Garnier Fructis again, but I don't have any CRTs, so these are going to be a dollar each. I thought I'd throw in a price drop for you guys because I haven't done this in a long time, but here is... The second transaction that I did um, with all of the sun care and the laundry, so it was like over $80 worth of stuff, and watch this price drop.
Okay, we are back home from CVS now. Look at this haul, you guys. I have not had a CVS haul like this in such a long time. This was so much fun. Like, I, I cannot even. It was just so much fun going into the store and getting all of this stuff. And you are not going to believe what we paid for it. Like I said, don't expect free because I didn't have any 10 off 70 um, or any kind of email coupons like that to use. But we still got an amazing price for all of this stuff. Okay, so... To break it down, I did three different transactions. Two of them are on my main account. The other one I did on my husband's account just because I wanted to grab a couple of the deals again. So for this first transaction, this is the one I did at the first store on Sunday. I grabbed two Garnier, the Skin to Mint Razors, the two Revlon, two of the Satin Care Shave Gels, the CoverGirl, and the Crest. All of my digital coupons for this one came off and my CRTs except for one. I cannot believe I did this, but I had two separate $2 off CoverGirl CRTs, right? I only clipped one of them, you guys. <laughs> I forgot to send one of them to my card, and after I checked out, I was like, why is my total $2 more? Duh, Alicia, it's because you didn't send one of your CRTs to your card. <laughs> it's been so long since I've done that, but we all make mistakes, I guess, so it's, it's fine. It ends up still being a pretty good deal, and that was a pretty big moneymaker deal, so... It's, it, it works out in the end. So, other than that, everything worked correctly. Um, these are all the coupons that came off, and then I have marked here which ones are extra bucks. So, I did pay with a total of $24 in extra bucks on this one, and then my out-of-pocket was $4.67 plus tax. Then, these are the extra bucks we got back on this one. Yes, I do cut them. I don't use the paper version of these. I use the digital version, so it's fine. I don't need these. This is just to show you guys. So we got back the $6 extra buck for the Venus um, or the Gillette Shave Gels, $5 for the Crest, $5 for the Revlon, $3 for the Garnier, $4 for the Skin Skintimate, and $10 for the CoverGirl, which is a total of $33 back in extra bucks. So to break this transaction down, we paid $4.67 out in cash and $24 in rewards. So total paid is $28.67. We got back to 33 in rewards, making this transaction free and a 433 moneymaker. Okay, next transaction. This is the big one that I did today. And this one has a cost um, because we grabbed the laundry and the sunscreen and all of that. So for this transaction, I have the Tide and Downy, the Baby Lips, the Cotton Rounds, the Cereal, um, the Sunscreen, and then the Axe and Soft Soap. Everything came off just like it was supposed to on this one. Now I did use my $10 care pass to pay for this transaction, but because I only pay $5 to get that $10 care pass, that's like a free five bucks. So I'm only gonna count $5 of that care pass as money spent. I hope that makes sense. So in total, in extra bucks, I paid $38. And that's only counting five of the care pass. Then out of pocket, it was $3.95 plus tax. So between cash and rewards, we paid out $41.95 and we got back 20 in extra bucks, 10 for the sunscreen, eight for the laundry deal, and then two for the Axe body wash. Then I submitted my receipt over to Ibotta. We got $4 back on the downy and $2 back on the cereal. So breaking down this transaction, um, it was $3.95 cash, and then I used $38 in rewards, so we paid $41.95. Got back six in cash, $20 in rewards, and then $0.90 cents from Fetch. I don't count this in with the cash that I get back like I do Ibotta, because Fetch Rewards, you can't like send it to your bank account or your PayPal or anything. You can just get gift cards. Um, so I, I mean... It's kind of like getting money back if you use it, if you get like a CVS gift card and then just use it to pay for more couponing, but it's not technically cash. So I don't know if I want to count it as that. Anyways, this is what we got back. So our net cost between cash and rewards was $15.05 for that transaction. So that one was definitely a cost, but we do have some money makers, so it's going to make it a little bit cheaper. All right, third transaction. This one's a really tiny one. This was on my husband's account. So for this transaction, it was just the two Garnier Fructis and the two Gillette Shave Gels. Um, I had the three off two Garnier come off and then I used the $10 Care Pass that I put on that account, which again, I only pay $5 for. So $5 paid in rewards plus 
um, 247 out of pocket. And then we got back $9 in extra bucks, six for the shave gel and three for the Garnier, making that transaction a net cost of free and $1.53 moneymaker. So to put all of these transactions together, we paid a total of $11.09 out in cash between all three transactions, but I submitted to Ibotta and got back $6 in cash, making our final out-of-pocket for today $5.09 plus tax. Then in extra bucks, we paid out a total of $67, but we got back $62 in extra bucks. So we only lost $5 in extra bucks, so if you add that together, that's like $10.09 for a cost, but we got the 90 cents back from Fetch, making our net cost for today $9.19. I like less than 10 bucks for everything. Let me add up the retail real quick, hold on. $161.32 worth of stuff for less than 10 freaking bucks. This is so exciting. I had so much fun couponing at CVS this week and Walgreens, honestly, even though it was kind of a slow week, I was still pretty excited about my haul. There are 29 items here, so $9.19 for 29 items. That's 32 cents per item. That is so good. Like, ugh, even for the toothpaste. 32 cents is pretty good for toothpaste. Those big laundry products, I'm so in love. I am so in love. That is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you're grabbing at CVS this week. And if you have any questions as well, you can put them down below. Um, yeah, that's it, you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.